Welcome back to another another video here we are doing preparing a new condensed milk can which has been first covered with paper. Yes, cut out from wallpaper then painted over. And now we are placing these beautiful dandelions or whatever they'd be, trying out new, trying out new ideas. We're making always the same thing gets really boring. So here you go. In a This is, of course, as usual, being cut out from wallpaper, extremely thick paper. So once again, we are making sure to dab everything on. And one thing I'm learning is place the small ones or however, the upper ones first so that then you can cover them up easier see here first i place that one on now i go get this whole thing glued up and place this one on top instead of first placing the bigger ones and then adding the small ones later um sure if you create the project beforehand instead of winging it the way i do you're obviously more likely to come out with something probably nicer looking less less jammed together looking then what some of my work is. Then again, if you don't like something, you can always start over again. As always, you want to make sure you get it wet enough. See what my fingers are doing there? They're ripping this with the they're ripping the my goo gluey fingers are ripping the paper apart. So you want to be careful about that too. Thing with working on cans is you can only work a certain amount at a time. You have to wait for it to dry off properly. You also have to keep waiting, like, like really watch it like a hawk. Because when those bubbles start popping up, you have to glue it back down ASAP or you're going to find yourself with hardened, deformed paper. Like those tips are up. Once they're up, you have a really hard time getting them back down again. And then it's harder. It's easier for your, all your work to go to waste over something because then say it catches on that little works like a little hook which catches stuff when you can either get ripped off or ruin some nice fabric for example so it's like even though you're doing a lot i mean even though it seems like you're doing very little you have to be patient and hang around and keep an eye on it constantly keep going there and making sure everything has been pressed down properly that it's drying properly pressed down 
as, as you've seen on some other bits of work or will see on some other bits of work. That's another thing you can do. You can roll, I think I showed you this, that you can roll, instead of using your wet fingers, you can use the, brush to kind of roll like that instead of pushing down and pulling too hard because when you push down and pull too hard what happens is you risk ripping the paper especially the really thin paper so so far so good Place that here for a second and have a look at these other cutouts that I've already prepared. You'll be able to order little packets of these flowers too. Of course, I will not be cutting these out for you in advance. I'll be sending you. Well, I might be cutting some out for you in advance. Depends. These are um, that's pretty much what the paper looks like. Um, and it is very this is very uh, entangled, tangled up. These flowers are pretty tangled up between each other, like all of the green stalks so forth. On the one hand, it looks a little bit messy when you cut it out at first. On the other hand, it's kind of cool because you get to choose which stalk to keep and which to throw in certain cases. So, You'll be able to order some of these as well. Cannot guarantee they'll arrive that soon because, you know, with the situation worldwide, um, wherever shipping goes to, it's gonna probably take, take a while. That's the big problem with this crisis going on right now. So, Let's get back to business over here. What's this looking like? So here at the bottom, we wanna either have a leaf cover that piece there or another flower or maybe both. No, it could be something like that, for example. I don't wanna go below a certain line though. So let's see what have we got here. That's like way too big. That looks very, that wouldn't be elegant on this piece at all. So let's just go with something else. Hmm. That's probably too much as well. I thought I had some other pieces available already, but it looks like I'm going to have to go cut more stuff out first before I can continue this, which is absolutely fine either way. Or maybe I dropped them before everything fell on the floor earlier. This is kind of like, yeah, this is just too much to get all together. So let's see how else can we be placing stuff. That. Or like this. That would have to be. You have if the, the thicker the paper, 
the more pre-forming you have to do. So you have to give it the shape before you put it on. Like this would have to be bent in here, put down here and come across and fit into here, right? So that means you also have to make sure you make this paper really wet, but that's not gonna work because it's gonna be climbing all over each other, these two pieces. So I won't be using this one there. At the very most, I might be using maybe something like this. So I don't wanna be sending anything underneath there though. Um, no, that's not gonna work. So I thought I had another piece available right now. Looks like I don't. So anyhow, that's just the first initial part here. And I'll let this dry. I'll start snippety snipping out some more pieces from all of these. And Initially, I thought they were more uh, what's the name of that flower? Gosh, I hate it when I can't remember things. I mean, I know exactly what I'm meaning, but I can't it doesn't come. It's on the tip of my tongue. So well, that's another can. And then we have another one here, which I will be using these white flowers on and here too i've got a lot of snippety snipping and finding all of the pieces i've already cut out positioning them and placing them so it's like various different different kinds of condensed milk piggy banks condensed milk can piggy banks so that's all for now from the Tuscan Urban Farmstead. It's getting very late and good night. Ciao for now.